Today we're going to take a look at learning centers and learning stations to make sure we understand the difference between the two. Then you'll watch some video examples of learning stations to see them in action. After that, there's another video to watch that is a review and a prep for quiz number four. It'll go over key terms and concepts that you should make sure you understand before taking the quiz. Remember to do the reading. Learning stations and centers have a lot of similarities. Both are designed to enhance and encourage learning development in students. The main difference between learning stations and centers is that stations are designed to promote teamwork and independent learning in subject themes. Learning stations are usually dedicated to a particular theme, subject, or topic. All of the stations in the class are related to the theme, subject, or topic, and students are expected to complete each station in order to fulfill their tasks. Learning centers are dedicated to a subject area, but more varied. Learning centers focus more on providing individualized instruction to students who are struggling or need enrichment in concepts and subject topics. In learning centers, students will focus on the area of weakness or need or concentrate on the one important subject rather than move from topic to topic. When I'm trying to distinguish between centers and stations, I think of the learning center in a college or the writing center in a college where you go just to work on a specific need. Learning stations operate in a round robin manner, providing all the students with the opportunity to try each activity. In learning centers, students work continuously on one activity until they master it. The focus for learning centers is to become a master is to master a specific area of study or subject, whereas in learning stations, the focus is to spend a small amount of time doing many tasks. Learning centers give students who are struggling with a subject, such as reading, the ability to work one-on-one -on -one with a tutor or uh, with a teacher or an aide or even another classmate, and oftentimes students will work on problems independently. This is a way to encourage students to learn and work independently. In learning stations, children work in teams and build their team, bu team building skills. Teachers provide instructions, but offer limited feedback or involvement in the activities that the kids are participating in. The aims of learning centers and learning stations differ. The learning station in most cases is a fun activity for children to participate in. It is a different method of education than a classroom lecture. It allows students to participate and interact. Learning centers often occur outside the classroom or in a section of the classroom where a tutor or teacher can provide his full attention and focus on to the sub student or help the student achieve success in the subject area that they are struggling with. Now, go back to D2L and I'll introduce you to some examples. 